Welcome back to the channel. We have another PSA unboxing today. I'm super excited about this one. This is only five cards. So this box right here in front of me has four cards in it. There's some modern and vintage. And then we have a single box with one vintage card, potentially a multi-thousand dollar card. So you'll see that after this, but for right now, let's go ahead and open up this box and see what cards we have inside. All right, you guys, we have four cards here again. Ooh, wow, I am nervous. All right, let's get into this. Let's unravel this. We're gonna set them right here. All right, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's start with the first card. Let's see what we have here. I'm gonna cover up the grade. Okay, this is a big one. The 2000s Pokemon Gym Challenge, Erica's Venusaur. This is a first edition hollow. This is a big card. This could potentially be very big. I do know that when I sent this one in, there were some scratches on the hollow. It wasn't too bad, but let's get up close and check out the card. It looks really nice. I think, yeah, so there's some whitening on the corners. I think this one is an eight. That's gonna be my guess. I'd love to see a nine. I'd love to see a nine, but we're gonna guess eight and let's show it. Let's see what we got. A seven. Oh no, that's a killer. I think, yeah, so it's because of the hollow scratching. You can see it right there. It's definitely scratched, but I didn't think it was that bad to get a seven. I really, really thought it was going to be an eight, but it's all right. We have three other cards to get to in this box. So let's do it. Next card here is going to be, ooh, Shadowless Red Cheeks Pikachu. I sent this in because the card looks really good in my eyes. Thankfully, there's no hollows to be scratched. If you guys saw my previous video, that was a big thing for me, sending in cards that had scratched hollows and getting bad grades. So we're gonna really, really look at this card. The back looked really, really nice if I remember. I'm not really seeing, there might be, is that on the card? Okay, so there's some whitening on this card. But if I recall, the whitening is not the worst part. They can have a little bit of whitening. So let's go ahead and see. I'm going to guess an eight. You know what? You know what? I'm going to guess a nine. I'm going to guess a nine here. We're going to shoot high. We're going to shoot high. And it's going to be an eight. Okay, that's still really good. That's still really good for this Shadowless, the Red Cheeks variant. The Red Cheeks is more expensive than the Yellow Cheeks. I believe this was the original printing. And so to have this in an eight, that's definitely worth sending in. And I'm really happy with that grade. Okay, so, so far we have the Erica's Venusaur seven and we have the Red Cheeks Pikachu Shadowless in an eight. Let's see if we can get a nine, seven, eight, nine. That's what we're aiming for. Okay, never mind. Let's aim for the 10 here. We have the Gray Felt Hat Van Gogh Pokemon Pikachu collab. I was able to snag one of these. There was an issue with my first order. I got in the, I believe it was a poster that was supposed to come with the card, but it didn't actually include the card. So that was a bummer. And if you guys tried to get these, they were actually pretty difficult to get. The drops were pretty bad. Things were selling out really fast. And it was just a whole, it was just a whole thing. So thankfully I was able to secure a, another order and it actually came in the card. So. This was sent to me straight from Pokemon Center. I opened up the package that it came in and sent it off. So I'm really hoping it wasn't damaged in shipment or anything like that, but let's go ahead and guess. I really, really hope it's a 10. If it's a nine, I believe it's not even worth being graded. It's almost the same value as it raw. Might be like 10 or 20 bucks more, I'm not sure, but we're hoping for the 10. We're hoping for the 10 and we got the 10. Let's go, we got the 10. The Pikachu gray felt hat in the 10. That's awesome. I think this is like a $300 card right now. Uh, raw, it's like 130. So definitely, definitely awesome to see that 10. And I guess it was worth sending in. I was kind of worried that in the packaging, because when they sent it from Pokemon Center, it was just loose in the box. They don't protect it or anything. So I was worried that it was shuffling around, hitting the box, damaging the edges, but I guess not. We got the 10. 
That's awesome. All right, so last card here. I honestly don't remember what this card is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and grab this and check it out. We have a seven, an eight, and a 10. It would be pretty awesome if this was a nine, but I don't think this is going to be a nine. This is a 2003 Sky Ridge Pokemon. Is that, is that look, it kind of looks like there's like a gap in between Sky Ridge, S, the K and the Y. That's interesting. I, I think that that's kind of messing with me, but I think that's just how it's supposed to be. I don't know, but this is a Vaporeon Hollow. This is a pretty expensive card. I've had this for a long time time i got this in a big buyout and i've just held on to it the thing about it is the reason i wanted to get it graded was because mostly preservation purposes i it wasn't in the best condition it did have a bend in it but i tried to flatten it out and i was told that that doesn't really affect the grade as much so i wanted to send it in just so it was in case it wasn't loose anymore and if for some reason it got a good grade i mean this is a very expensive card so it would be awesome um, looking at the hollow here there are some scratches nothing too too noticeable let's check the back there's some whitening in the corner overall looks pretty good centering looks pretty good uh, there's a little some whitening right here as well so i would love honestly anything above a six would be amazing because i think this card is going to be like a four or a five so if we get a, anything above a six i'd be ecstatic again this was just a, a loose raw card that i've had for years and I wanted to send it in to get graded because why not? So let's go ahead and check out the grade. A six, okay, okay. So I said I said anything above a six I'd be really happy about, but I thought it was gonna be a four or a five and we actually got the six. So that is not bad. That's not bad at all. This is a, like I said, a very expensive card. So I'm really happy to have it encased, have it protected. Because who knows, this could have been a seven years ago, and just because I've had it for so long, just ruffling around loose, could have got down to a six, but I don't know. Who knows? That is awesome to see. I'm glad that it is encased. And guys, there we have it. These four beautiful cards. We have the Gray Felt Pikachu in a 10. We've got the Shadowless Red Cheeks Pikachu in an eight. The Vaporeon Pokemon Sky Ridge six and the first edition erica's venusaur in a seven but like i mentioned before i have another box to show you this one is the cream of the crop and if this card gets a good grade we could be talking thousands of dollars so let's not waste any more time let's get into the second box all right guys this is so exciting but also extremely nerve-wracking because this is a pretty rare pretty expensive card and if it gets a good grade, we're gonna be extremely happy. If it gets a bad grade, we'll see. We'll see if it comes to that. Let's get this thing open. Let's not waste any time. So this was a card that I got in a trade. It was an Xbox Series X trade that I did for a binder of vintage cards. And this was the cream of the crop, the number one card included in the binder and it was in very good condition. Well, from what I noticed, it looked really good. There was very little hollow scratching. Centering looked good. Everything looked good to me. So I sent it off to PSA. I really hope that it came back as a good grade. We're gonna just open this thing up. Oh man, I don't wanna reveal the grade. Okay, I see the front. So this is the back here. So we're gonna ha go ahead and pull this out. Oh man, I am nervous. Here's the back of the card so you can see it well. The back looks really good. Oh man, I am nervous. Let me show you guys what the card is. It's a 2000s Pokemon Gym Challenge Blaine Charizard Hollow First Edition. It looks really good to me. There's not too much scratching. I saw like a tiny bit up at the top up here. I'm not 100% sure. I'm obviously hoping for a 10 here. I'm extremely nervous. My heart is pounding. A nine would be fantastic. An eight would be okay, but anything lower would be very disappointing. So let's take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. We're gonna guess a nine. That's the goal. That's what we'd love to get. Anything lower. Let's just do it. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. We got the nine. We got the nine. Oh my God, we got the mint nine on the first edition gym challenge, Blaine's Charizard. Holy crap, you guys. This was raw. I got it in a binder with a bunch of other cards and it came back as a mint nine, you guys. Holy, that is an amazing grade to get on this card. 
I am extremely happy with this. My biggest fear was honestly an eight or anything lower. I was pretty worried about that. I, I, I knew it probably wouldn't get a 10 because I did see a few little tiny marks and um, especially with vintage, it's almost gotta be perfect, I feel like. So I'm extremely happy to get a nine in the Blaine's Charizard in. Man, what an opening. I'm very happy I set this off. Let's go, I'm hyped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Had an amazing opening, some great PSA graded cards, super excited. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to leave a like down below, drop me a comment, and subscribe for future videos. Until next time, take care.